Sorry for the poor audio. A lot of people seem to like this, so I thought I'd do a quick video. These plastic pots are off of Amazon. They're sets of three. I've got a total of 90 pots here. They're all attached to two by threes that are attached to the studs of the wall with a piece of poly between the plastic pots and the two by threes to keep moisture away. Uh, this was a birthday present actually for my wife and my parents. Uh, while I was out, my wife and my dad put this all up, measured and got it all square and nice and solid. I've got a, a bunch of different plants, succulents on the top row, um, some strawberry plants over here, tropical plants, lettuce down here, flowering plants, red plants coming down the middle, uh, some viney plants on the top, uh, herbs down here and some herbs over there. So we'll see what survives. Uh, I think it's be an ongoing experiment to see what look, looks nice and what uh, works well. One of the interesting things with this is that the bottom inch and a half or so of each of these pots holds water. Once it gets above that, it goes down to drain the bottom and goes into between the two and goes in the trough below. Once that one's full, it'll continually going down and down and down. So the idea is that you could water a whole lot at once uh, if you want to use that method. Of course, using that method means the last half of an inch or so of soil is going to be sitting in water. Uh, so you have to have, have plants that like that. You can also plug these holes up, um, you know, if you don't want water to go a certain direction or whatever. Uh, I think for the uh, start, I'll be hand watering these because uh, some are starting and they're a bit more delicate. I might want to add more water here, less water there. But once it's all established, I'll probably experiment. Uh, one thing I found, because I was too uh, aggressive, I wanted too much dirt, is that uh, when I first started watering, I was put too much in and it would come over, splash me mud all over the ground. Um, so that's really not a design problem necessarily, that's more, I just wanted too much soil in. But they're not particularly large, so I wanted as much as I can get in there. Anyways, I'll give you a little bit of a tour. This is the hole I was talking about. This is the trough. And then it splashes down. I'm going to get on the shadow there. In between the two. There's a 2x3 poly. If anybody knows what this plant is, let me know. Same as these, I'm not quite sure. They got a weird spine, the leaves are a little bit different from the last plant. Hopefully it looks pretty neat in a month or two when everything fills out. Plan is to get some uh, grow lights above them, onto the ceiling, have it facing down there so I can uh, provide them with a bit more light. There's the one window to the left, but it really doesn't get as much light as I think they need. All right, well, I hope you like this.